Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY Investing. For today's video, I want to talk to you guys about one cryptocurrency that I believe is going to have a big next cycle. As you guys know, majority of cryptos don't end up even having that big of market cycles after their first bubble. Many cryptos die out over the long term, which is why it's really important to do sound research and find which cryptos are ultimately going to garnish a lot more value heading into the next bull run. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my top picks that's also deeply rooted inside of the Pulse Chain ecosystem that I believe is setting up for something very special over the next couple of years. If you're new and just find this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing videos like the one provided for you here. And make sure if you're a new guy just getting into these markets to go ahead and download my free ebook. This is a beginner's guide to crypto that's going to teach you guys a lot of the basics for understanding how to invest inside of these markets. Check it out. It's free. Not going to cost you anything. And with that being said, let's jump right into this amazing video today. big things that I think is most important to realize uh, is the fact that every single cycle, the only way that your crypto that you're invested in is actually going to see new all-time highs and it's actually going to do well and continue to sustain growth long term is if they continue to build, if they add new ways to create value inside of the ecosystem. And that's why the majority of crypto projects never actually continue to see long-term growth and adoption. Now, keep in mind, we are at an early point of cryptocurrency as a whole. We still haven't seen global adoption like we will see, and so there's still gonna be so much change to take place, but that's exactly why it's super important that right now we find those sound investments, find a good strategy that's gonna pay out long-term, because only a certain amount of these cryptos are actually going to be used. And we have to look inside of not only the crypto, but what the creators are doing. And not only that, but how are they adding value to sustain the overall ecosystem? And the one that we're going to be talking about today is going to be Hex, because Hex was the first crypto um, that really is the reason why we have Pulse Chain today. Now, it's not like Hex is the same exact thing as Pulse Chain, because they're very much different. Um, but it was Hex and the idea of Hex that is why we have Pulse Chain because it was the value that Hex created in the last cycle um, that allowed for such an amazing project in Pulse Chain to get developed. Now, one of the big things I want you guys to understand here, when I come over here and we look at this bull trend, does this remind you of anything? Maybe you guys don't uh, pay attention to the charts as much as I do. I mean, I stare at these things every single day for six years, so... I might just have a different perspective than most people, but if this reminds you of anything, it reminds me of almost exactly the same thing when we come all the way over here and we look at the Bitcoin chart from the 2017 bull run. It looks almost the exact same to me. Bitcoin might have had a little bit more of an extended blow off top, but it's almost the exact same thing that played out. And what I find is so interesting is Hex had one of the greatest bull cycles compared to all of the altcoins, and it had this very big extended five wave for its blow off top. And if you look at that compared to many of the other altcoins in the cycle, many altcoins never even had a huge blow off top. Yes, there were a lot. You had Solana, you had Phantom, you had Terra Luna. There were some of the better performing altcoins, but that's one of the things to remember, guys, the better performing uh, altcoins. Hex was part of an asset class of its own. When you're comparing it to prior altcoins of that last cycle, it outperformed the vast majority of all of them. And so a lot of that had to do with the fact that it wasn't listed on a lot of exchanges. There wasn't a ton of liquidity for people to trade, um, but it literally was one of those best performing assets. And while this video is not necessarily geared towards telling everybody that you should go buy Hex, there is a strategy for accumulating Hex that actually plays into why uh, maybe you should be buying Hex preparing for Pulse Chain's launch. Now, when we're looking at this, this looks almost the exact same in my opinion. And it even takes us into our bear market for Bitcoin. One of the first things that got me initially excited about investing, or what I should say, really that first aha moment where I started to figure out how you can actually make money by looking at um, charts and by uh, analyzing different cycles, 
was really the first time I understood the emotional psychology of a market cycle and really what are market cycles as a whole. Now, one of the things I want to share with you guys here is really just this chart of Bitcoin from that last cycle overlaid onto the chart of Pulse Chain because in my opinion, they're very much the same emotions being repeated over a long period of time. And that's why I think that we're probably going to end up seeing, you know, there's always going to be variance, especially with an altcoin when compared to against Bitcoin. Bitcoin is always going to be the staple cryptocurrency. It's always going to be a lot stronger in its trend than anything else. And so for that, we can't always count on the fractals and the patterns to play true. But when we look at this chart, I mean, is it, is it that hard to see what I'm kind of talking about here? We're kind of missing one of the higher lows in here, but this chart would look like this, right? something like this in the uptrend. And it looks almost the exact same thing as this move, as well as this move, heading into this final blow off top here. You guys know exactly what I'm pointing out. It's not like I'm just talking to myself. It's pretty easy to see how consistent blow off tops are inside of bull trends, as well as how consistent the bear markets are. And it would make sense for Hex to follow the price bit of Bitcoin, not just the price, but the price action of Bitcoin, because at the end of the day, all of these are deriving their value from what Bitcoin does. Now, when we look at these charts and we can see this, it's really important that we pay attention for the fact that inside of the bear market, there can be a little bit of difference. But when we're comparing like the time frames, these are almost the exact same thing. And I think that that's another big factor that people should really consider inside of their analysis is analyzing the time frames between things. A lot of people don't really consider time frames, but time frames can be equally as important to share with you guys the direction the trend can take or points of reversal inside of the market. If we analyze from the all-time high to the bottom of that cycle, it basically took exactly one year from the high to the low, and that's consistent with prior bear markets inside of Bitcoin. If we go all the way back and look at all of the last Bitcoin cycles, um, besides our very first bear market all the way in 2011, which you know we were sub one billion in market cap, it makes sense why it took a lot shorter period of time. If we go all the way back and look at our prior cycles, every single one of our bear markets has lasted exactly a year. This one in 2013 to 2015 was about a month over. It was about 13 months instead of exactly one year. But our 2018 bear market was exactly one year in duration from the high to the low, high to the low. And now if we're analyzing from our November cycle top at 69K, Bitcoin is once again almost following that exact same year threshold. The difference is we have to go until the first week of November heading into a couple more months of this bear market, and then we would be consistent with all of our prior bear markets, dating all the way back to 2013. And so this is a pattern that's played out consistently over every single Bitcoin bear market that we've had since there's been multi-billions in market cap, right? And I want to emphasize that when the prior uh, first bear market that we ever had, there was such a small amount of market cap that it only needed half the amount of time to get the same type of move. Now, when we're looking at the price of HEX, where we're at inside of the price of HEX based off of the time frames, if we analyze from our cycle top and then go all the way to our cycle low, that was about 273 days. So we're quite a bit short, about 80 days short of one calendar year. But if we come all the way over to where we're at today at 355 days, inside of this part of our bear market, because keep in mind guys, if we're overlaying these charts, I hope you guys are getting what I'm pointing at here. Do you guys understand what we're looking at? I mean, the cycle top was here. We get these same bounces off support, same rejections. This one on the Bitcoin chart was a little bit lower than the hex chart. But nonetheless, we kind of bounce, accumulate off this support level. This is kind of a big descending triangle, right? Do you guys get what I'm pointing out here? I mean, it's really easy for me to see all of these patterns because keep in mind, guys, I've been doing this for six years. So a lot of times I'll get on these big tangents and I'll forget that a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about, which is why I try and make these videos really easy for the average person to understand. At the end of the day, all we're analyzing is patterns and human emotion. We're not trying to uh, analyze a bunch of exact things besides the time frames. The time frames are more exact, but our approach is just more around analyzing patterns and big picture market cycles, if that makes sense. But I mean, same exact type of psychology. After the first sell-off, we bounce off support, accumulate in this descending triangle, we break support, and this is really the same type of consolidation that Bitcoin made 
at the bottom of its bear market in 2018 when it bottomed at $3,200, kind of accumulated here between three and four thousand dollars. We broke out, and then that was where we started our next bull trend. There's a number of other altcoins we can look at that created this pattern that I can remember. Stellar Lumens was one that created a pretty consistent pattern, although this one ended up going much lower inside of its bear market, which tells me that there was way more weakness at the time. And so this was one that if potentially Hex throws up weakness, which I really don't think so. With the launch of Pulse Chain coming up, there's a direct reason why Hex is gonna see new adoption. In my opinion, with also offering 40% uh, APY staking, um, and then even higher returns with, depending on what type of uh, staking that you do when you lock things up. If you locked your money up for 5,555 days, like the longest threshold that you can, you can pay out big, especially if Hex gets a lot of adoption long term. But I mean, really when we're considering these things, guys, the big thing that I'm thinking about is the time frames. Knowing that Hex is so close to that same sort of time frame, of a bottom of a bear market tells me that we are very close. On top of that, if we're looking at the price loss from the all-time high, we, we're at 94.5% from the high to the low that we made. That's already right there with the same loss that Ethereum uh, experienced in its last bear market, or I should say its first bear market. This is Hex's first bear market. After such a huge increase in value, people are kind of talking crap because of the fact it pulled back 94%. But I mean, that's the way these markets go. The markets that have the biggest bull runs and the biggest ROIs to the upside are gonna have some of the bigger sell-offs on the bear market. It's just the way things work. People are gonna be taking profits. And when you have so many people that are actually in profit, you know, when the market starts selling off, people start panicking. And when you're in profit for so long, it allows the market to really sell off in a big way. You can have these big swings, but it's nothing new. I mean, this is the same thing that we saw with Ethereum in its last cycle. And so if we're looking at kind of what's to play out from here, it's not that new. It's not anything that we haven't seen before. And that's why I want you guys to just remember that. I mean, almost exactly the same, 94.5% from the high to the low. So when we're looking at these things, you know, understand that the worst is far behind us. And what we're looking at what we're seeing here is almost the exact same emotions. We can look at the total market cap, we can look at the price of Bitcoin, and what I think is most important to understand is that with the launch of Pulse Chain coming up, you're gonna get a better chunk of Pulse Chain, because keep in mind guys, what is about to take place? This is all tying back to Pulse Chain, because the reason why I'm so bullish on Pulse Chain is all of the great airdrop that's gonna take place. There's gonna be so much hype around this airdrop. There's gonna be every single person that's talking about this. Everybody's gonna to have to talk about it. And when it's happening at the very beginning of the new bull trend, everybody's gonna be excited anyways because the market's finally going up again, right? So there's a lot of catalysts for why there's gonna be a lot of adoption taking place. Now, one of the big things that's gonna take place is the fact that everybody that gets a copy, because keep in mind what's taking place here, um, Pulse Chain is a hard fork of Ethereum, meaning what's going to take place is they're going to take a snapshot of the entire blockchain of Ethereum. Everybody that's holding ERC uh, tokens on the Ethereum blockchain is going to get them duplicated onto the Pulse Chain, right? And so everybody is going to have all these free tokens on the Pulse Chain uh, network that they're going to be able to take and convert into Pulse Chain tokens, right? And so there's gonna be this big free airdrop. Everybody that owns any tokens on the Ethereum blockchain is gonna get them copied and uh, duplicated onto Pulse Chain. Now, it's not like they're gonna have any liquidity or anything because they're just duplicated tokens, but the fact that we can still take these free tokens and convert them into Pulse Chain means that there's gonna be given value. It's not like it's just gonna be worthless. And so keep in mind, guys, that with the price of HEX doing this in the last cycle, that we could see even 100X inside of Pulse Chain People that are getting in at the ground floor are going to set themselves up to make a, an insane amount of profit on that way up. Now, one of the big things on why I believe that Hex is going to see immediate impact going into its next bull run is the fact that when this airdrop takes place, everybody that actually holds Hex is going to get more pulse chain. You're going to get a higher cut of that um, conversion. So you may you might get all of these free duplicated tokens, but they're not gonna be worth as much as say, somebody that's holding a bunch of uh, hex tokens. They're gonna be able to take the hex and they're gonna be able to convert those into pulse chain 
the time of the airdrop for a higher conversion rate. And so there's a bigger return for the people that actually buy Hex. So you guys got to keep in mind, you got to uh, think ahead with all of this stuff. If we're thinking in terms of Richard Hart is waiting until the very bottom of the bear market to launch heck or to launch Pulse Chain. He wants to launch Pulse Chain at the earliest point of the bull market so that when the bull market takes off, he can capture the majority of that rally so that we all, the people invested, can make the majority amount of profit. Anybody that's earliest is going to make the most money. That's just the way it works in this game. Now, when all of this takes place, um, it's really important to realize the fact that Hex is going to bounce really quick. If everybody is thinking ahead of the game, they're thinking, oh man, I'm going to buy Hex right now. It's down 94% from the all-time high. It's, a, it's on a discount of 94%. Well, technically, it's only down 92% because we're not at the lows. But this thing is pretty close to the lows. And if we end up retesting these lows again, maybe we bounce up. But if we end up retesting anywhere in these lows, I would buy that dip because it's probably going to get bought up. Yes, there is a potential where the whole market goes lower, and if that happens, I would really be buying up Hex, because the thing is, guys, there's going to be a lot of people that are thinking in the same thought. They're going to think, well, you know, I want to get more Pulse Chain come launch day. The best way to do that, to get a higher conversion, is to hold Hex. Well, if it's down 92% from the all-time highs, that's a huge discount. I'm going to go buy a bunch of it, and then I'm just going to hold it until the day of the launch. Well, you're going to have a lot of people that are late to that way of thinking. You're going to have the price starting to rally come the launch of uh, Pulse Chain. The price is going to start rallying because you have all of these people that are already starting to buy it up, ready to convert it into Pulse Chain tokens. And then you start to see all of the other people as Pulse Chain releases, they hear about this great almighty airdrop and everybody rushes to go get this Pulse Chain. They see the price of hex starting to rise and they think to themselves, oh man, I really got to get a higher conversion. I got to go buy some hex now. Then it causes the price to rally even higher. And then you get this massive swing all the way upwards of these resistance levels. And one of the tokens I want to remind you of is actually Stellar Lumens because I want to show you, actually, let's not even look at Stellar Lumens. Let's go look at Digibyte because Digibyte looks really similar in this way. So this is a really similar type of bear market consolidation that we made where we rally up, blow off top, we kind of consolidate here, and then we sell off for one more final low. Now, after the bottom of our bear market, what did we see here? It rallied straight up and went almost exactly to the tops of our resistance here. It was just short of that level, but we went up really high. We had this massive move off of the lows. That's the exact same thing that's going to happen at Pulse Chain. And so we're talking if, the, if uh, it hits the same point as what Digibyte did, not even talking when this thing went into a new all-time high. Um, if it just makes its first impulse into the new bull trend, you're talking a pretty decent sized move. I mean, from where we're at today to the top of our pre, uh, prior resistance here, the prior, uh, prior lower high, you're looking at 400%. I don't know exactly what the best scenario would be here, but at the end of the day, I know that the price of Hex is going to go up because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be thinking that same thing. Everybody's going to rush at the exact same moment in time to go and buy Hex to go convert it into Pulse Chain for a higher reward. And you can guarantee that the price is going to be going up in that meantime. And I honestly just see this entire market cycle forming and there's a fundamental case for why we're going to see somewhat of a cycle bottom. Even if this thing makes a low or low, if the whole market collapses again, like I pointed out, it potentially could in my last video. It doesn't really matter because this thing will bottom to if some degree, and we are going to have a big rally to the upside. And I believe that that rally to the upside is going to be caused because of the airdrop and the big release and the launch of Pulse Chain. And so I wanted to give you guys this video as a way to really just kind of talk about the similarities of these cycles and why I actually think that Pulse Chain, or not Pulse Chain, but Hex is going to have an immediate impact heading into its next cycle. The majority of altcoins didn't have a big cycle if we're comparing them to our last bull run. Many of them barely made a new all-time high. Many of them didn't make a new all-time high. And so when we're looking at prior cycles, there has to be an exact reason for why there's going to be new people buying the token. And I honestly see people buying Hex because of the added benefit of Pulse Chain and the launch of Pulse Chain. Even if it's just in the short term, I still believe that this thing is going to rally to a pretty big degree 
most likely a 4x return at the very beginning of the bull trend. And so if you're looking for a little bit of a safer, higher market cap pick, I honestly think that this is going to be one of those plays that sees immediate benefit just simply because of Pulse Chain. So if you guys found value in this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these updates. If you guys want to join the Discord server or download my free ebook, links are in the description for that. For the people that would also like to um, actually sign up for my VIP, follow all the trades that I take, all the expert picks that I post inside of my Discord server, all of the information that I do, all of my ecosystem plays that I'm going to be doing inside of the Pulse Chain network. Any, inf any, any insider information that I get from any of these people I'm working with, I'm going to be posting all that stuff inside of the Discord server. So if you guys want to get access, you can sign up by going to my website. Links are in the description below. Thank you all so much for the support. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.